Alright guys, so uh, today I'm going to show you how we're going to do an automatic water filler for the aquaponics system. So it'll basically turn on and off every day and refill the system as it loses water as it evaporates. Um, instead of putting your hose in there like I got to do almost every day. So I did this with the the, uh, the chickens. I have a bucket that fills up with water automatically on a timer and it's on a, a float for a toilet basically. So once the water fills up to the certain uh, height it turns off and the timer stays on for about two minutes to refill the level of the vessel that holds the water. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this step by step. Let's go in there. All right, so here is the other part of the greenhouse, um, the aquaponics part of it. Uh, it's kind of a mess in here. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. You can see algae all over the tank. Um, that's actually good. That's good for the fish. We have tilapia in here. The tilapia eat the algae. You can see the babies in here. Um, we hatch these from egg. And uh, I got some big guys in here. Let's see if they pop up here. Really big ones. They're ready to harvest, actually. Probably a pound. A pound and a half. And then I got these other two uh, 55 gallon drums right here that are filled with tilapia and the sump tank. So basically, the sump tank is going to be what um, is going to refill because the pump is in here. So um, the water gets pumped up to the biofilter that's up here and then it disperses to all the different tanks and the pond that's outside right here. We've got our pond down here. So you can see it. it's outside. So anyways, uh, all this green stuff you're seeing is duckweed. That's what the tilapia eat. Um, it's just like a water lettuce that grows. But anyways, let's get back to what we're doing. So my water source is right here. So that is going to run down, I'll be back behind there, all the way down to the sump tank. And then that's where it's going to fill the level. You can see right now how low it is. I was gonna put the uh, hose in here and refill it, but I just figured I'd tackle this project and get it done so I, I don't need to do this anymore. I gotta add water probably twice a week, once to twice a week with the evaporation rate with how hot it is outside lately. Um, in about 80 degree to 90 degree range. Um, it's pretty crazy. We're in November right now and it's still, we're still getting days that hot. So I'm going to show you guys the table setup and we'll go from there. All right, so here we go. This is kind of everything that you need. Um, first thing you need is a timer. <clears throat> this is just standard timer you can buy. I had it in some of my stuff. Automatic, you can pick the days and uh, it's battery powered. So that'll just, um, screw on and this is what turns on every day for about a minute to two minutes to refill whatever vessel you're going to do if it's going to be for aquaponics or for your chickens um, bucket of water it can refill and it will shut off automatically um, and you don't have to you know refill the vessel that you need for your chickens or for your aquaponics ever again just got to check the battery level so I got that. Um, I got a toilet, um, basically a toilet on and off valve. You can buy these at Lowe's, Home Depot, any hardware store that's by you. I've already opened it up. This is what it looks like. Basically comes with all this stuff. This is the only thing that you need right here. This is the on and off valve as it goes up and down and your water source connects to the bottom. Um, I'll do a video for the chickens another day on how to build the bucket, the automatic watering bucket, and we're going to sell those as well. Um, but I just want to uh, show you guys kind of how this works. So you got this. Pretty much everything else here is trash. So that goes over there. So you got these two things, and then you got your connections, however they're going to work, to connect from the water in to the water out. I like using PVC. It's very cheap. Um, and it's an efficient way to go from there. And then uh, you got your primer, which is good to use. Make sure you got a good seal on uh, your PVC and then your PVC glue. Um, you wanna make sure this stuff's dry too before you connect any pressure to anything. It's not gonna be, 
you know um, with a lot of aquaponics stuff there's not pressure it's all gravity fed but this is going to have pressure because it's hooked to the house basically so got some tape and your cutters so I'll show you guys how it all goes together So here it is, um, basically water in and water out. And I just made it so PVC would work really easy. Um, you can glue all your fittings together. So basically this will turn on whatever days you want and uh, it will go to your float valve and it will connect to the bottom of this, to the level of your vessel. And as the water fills up, this raises and turns it off let's say it takes a minute to fill up your vessel um, you might want to have this on for about two minutes and then shut off so the reason I use this is because you have water from the grid or from your house and that's creating pressure so if you skip this part and just hook it up to this if this thing gets stuck down like this whatever vessel it's in your aquaponics or in your um, chicken water bucket it'll keep filling and it will just overflow water and you might not even notice for a day um, just depends on how often you come down and check on check on everything so what's nice about this is this is like an automatic valve that turns on and off so even if it is full like this your tank this turns on and this is off you're okay or if it's stuck down and this turns on for some reason you it'll only overflow your vessel for the two minutes that it's on and not waste all that water so that's why I use these so I'm gonna hook it all up and I'll show you guys exactly how it works all right so here we are I can uh, show you guys what happened I got the valve on now, it goes down into the timer, it goes down to there, all the way under here, across behind these tanks, back there, right here, down into the tank, and there's the float, and what's nice about this float is you can adjust the height up and down by spinning it right there, um, and then when it turns on, the level of the water, you can see it, it's lower than this. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get it in there. Um, right there. Um, when it goes up, it'll turn off. So, um, I'll show you guys how it works in just one minute. Alright, so here we go. We're going to set this to water now for 10 minutes. It'll start, you guys will watch. Below the float level, it turned on. When it gets up to full, it'll turn off. When it goes below, it turns back on. There we go, that's how it works. Pretty simple. Cheers. Here it is, it's getting towards the top. You guys can watch it turn off. It's gonna start floating. I didn't really set the depth, so I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see here. Shit. Look at that, right to the rim. Look how close that got. It's pretty close, Bob. Right there. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, love. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, like our page, leave any suggestions or comments down below. And we will uh, see you guys soon. Cheers.